Hello everyone, welcome to another Gorzala's Magic, playing some more Popper, been on a big Popper kick lately. Uh, playing a lot of Affinity, but shaking it up today. I don't really fancy myself much of a control player, but that is what we are playing today. Uh, this deck is pretty popular at my local game store, but is really underrepresented, underrepresented, you know what I mean, on Moto, and I'm a little surprised by it because I think this deck is pretty good. Uh, this deck is called Blue Black Teachings. It is a blue black control deck, very grindy, and its namesake is this card, Mystical Teachings, which if you don't know it, you search your library for an instant card or a card with flash, although we don't have any of those, reveal it, put it in your hand, shelf your library. So it's an instant speed, instant tutor with flashback. And almost everything in this deck is an instant. Uh, we have a couple creatures in Seagate Oracle for helping to fix draws and Grimog Angler as a win condition. Uh, the only other non-sorcery, well, there's some preordains. We'll just go, let's just go through the cards one by one. Um, preordain, one of the best cards to set up with in the format. Um, you know, scry two, draw a card, just helping us get out. Uh, this is a bit of a spicy addition that I saw. I kind of like it. Whispers of the Muse with buyback. A lot of buyback spells in the deck. Uh, wants to really play a long game. Very, very, very grindy. As you'll see as we go through this. Uh, two Mana Leaks, one of the better counter spells. Four Think Twices for some card draw. Four Counter Spells. You know, you can play actual counter spells, so might as well. Uh, three, gate, three Seagate Oracles, like I said, to help filter our draws and generally just provide a blocker. One Cap Size, and this is one of the things that we tend to want to get with teaching. So with the first teachings I've found as I played the deck, you generally go get another teaching. So then you flash back for the card you actually want, so you can keep the teachings train going. Um, cap size is a good win condition because you can always bounce your opponent's threats. And I played a game against Burn where I was bouncing my own Radiant Fountains to gain life and basically get out of Burn range. So it's a pretty sweet card. Uh, pretty fun to tutor up and play with. I like it a lot. Uh, four of Mystical Teachings, the namesake of the deck, to go get whatever card we need. Oh, a one of Disfigure. So the good thing about playing an instant speed tutor like this is that you can play a lot of one ofs. So the one disfigures for the little guys. Uh, we have four Diabolic Edicts for helping to clear the board of big threats, um, as well as one Doom Blade, one Echoing Decay. I'm assuming for little creatures and tokens. Have not yet played it though or searched for it. One Victim of Night just to keep the uh, removal package. Uh, some variety in the removal package is what I'm trying to say. And then Evan Christ Justice, which is also a soft lock out of the game for some decks. You basically just keep doing this over and over and over, and they can never resolve any real creatures for seven mana. So like like I said, deck wants to go long. Uh, we also have Grimog Angler as our win condition, one of the best creatures in Popper, I think. Uh, Demir Aqueduct, which has come in really handy in bouncing Radiant Fountains. That's generally what I like to target with it, so that we can keep gaining some life. Uh, Dismal Backwater, same on the life gain train, as well as fixing. Uh, four Evolving Wilds, and the list that I looked at originally was running Demir Guildgates in this spot, but the Evolving Wilds help feed the Grimog Angler, so I figured I would try them out. And in addition, we have Islands and Swamps, of course. And then two Pristine Talismans to help gain life, and also to help accelerate us just a tiny bit. So we move to the sideboard, and um, I know I don't have any Hydro Blasts. I think that's the next big popper item I'm going to get, because I would love to play four of in this deck. Uh, we have two Dispels, though, which I think is one of the best counter spells in the format. Uh, one of Negate, and I, you can see that I have the cool Foil Flart promo, which is probably just a couple pennies. These aren't really are not very expensive on Moto. Uh, three Curse the Bloody Tomes, and I imagine these go in against Control decks. I don't have a lot of experience with the deck, so we're going to be learning it together. But that's what I imagine this is for. Um, maybe not in the Mirror, because there's so much... Well, not so much. There's a couple flashback cards, mostly Mystical Teachings. I guess think twice. So maybe not there, but I can definitely see applications for this card in some of the slower matchups, like maybe against combo, I'm not sure. Uh, another Disfigure, two Chainer Edicts, so just some more removal here if we need it. Another Echoing Decay, uh, an additional Radiant Fountain for Burn. And I imagine this card is actually pretty good in the mirror, um, exiling cards from graveyards, drawing extra cards. So yeah, that's the deck we're playing today. I'm just going to keep it to tournament practice, I think, while I get the hang of the deck, but we will graduate soon enough. And I hope you enjoy watching this as much as I had building it. We are in our first round on the draw, it would appear. My opponent's decided if he wants to go first. Oh, and I do like the updates to the client. Hmm. So, triple preordain, counterspell swamp, demer aqueduct. 
Pristine Talisman. I do like the triple preordain, but we're not going to be casting any of those until we're not if we keep the same, we're not casting any spells till turn three. But I think the triple preordain makes it good enough. And some of you may be shouting at home that that's this is a horrible idea, but I am on the draw also, so I do get to look at some cards. My opponent played an Evolving Wild, so I do like that. And we draw into Island. So we we are hmm, maybe I should have played the no, I'm going to do it. I'd rather have to discard one card. Uh, I want both of these cards, but I don't want to discard them. I suppose I could discard one of the preordains. I probably don't need three. Or maybe the swamp. I'm probably going to discard the swamp. But I would like both these cards. Draw the teachings. I guess I could discard the teachings, but that gives me away pretty fast, so I don't think I want to do that. Oh, and I have seven cards in my hand, so it's all good. Right, because I expended a card to draw a card. Oh, I saw the two and got a little concerned, I guess. Mountain. Maybe playing against the four-color Maka Rioters deck. What's it called? Domain. Travel Flames, Maka Rioters. Something else, though, you know. Oh, some sort of Delver variant. Well, let's draw our next card, which is the Counterspell. So now might be when I have to discard, because I want to bounce this island back to my hand. Well, I guess I could preordain, see if I could hit a land. I do not. I don't really want either of these cards, I don't think. But I am going to have to discard two cards, I think. Yeah, I don't want either of those. I'd rather draw another island. Keep preordaining. Just smooth this out as best as possible. I didn't want the first Seagate Oracle. But I suppose I could want the second. I don't think so, actually. I think I want to get my Evan Car. Oh, there we go. My Evan Car's Justice. Sweet. Because I think that will come in handy against my opponent's deck here, especially if he resolves a few more Delvers. Lightning Bolt. So yeah, it's just straight up Red Blue Delver, I suppose. And Kiln Fiend. Yeah, this might be bad. Hmm. I basically have to survive... Well, that actually helps a lot, because now I don't have to waste time playing the Demer Aqueduct. I'm going to hold up my counter spell and hope I can get to this Evancar's Justice before my opponent kills me. Like, this is a strong case for having played the Aqueduct earlier, I suppose, but can't have it all. Mostly, I'm hoping to counter spell an Assault Strobe here, which would really help my opponent win. As of right now, he's about to do 7 damage to me. So that will be rough, and I'm going to take another, at least an additional two from the Evancar's Justice. So basically, everything plus two here. Uh, yeah, can't stop it. So that's ten. I'm up to twelve now. Ugh, maybe this was a bad plan. So I got it. Well, the good thing, the good news is I'm not totally dead even to a bolt. I'm hoping my opponent will play something I can counter here. No. Uh, well, we do have to sweep the board here. We did not get buyback. And I'm probably just playing this deck awfully, but what can you do? Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to resolve this pristine talisman next turn and start gaining up some life. Oh yeah, my opponent has another bolt. Just over. Yeah. Well, clearly I'm going to need some practice in the matchup. Uh, the good news is I think I know what I want to bring in. I want to bring in my removal. If my opponent is very weak to car those cards. Um, what to take out? Whispers of the Muse doesn't seem too great. And I guess I could shave an Edict in favor of Echoing Decay. I think it's a little better. Let's try this out. 
<sighs> yeah, maybe this is why the deck isn't played a lot. Just kind of slow. I mean, I think I also played it suboptimally. I think I could have resolved the... Uh, I do not like that this keeps popping up. I think I could have resolved the uh, Evan Cars Justice earlier. I, I like this. A little land heavy, but we have removal and we have a preordain, so... Which we will cast. I want both of these cards. Right? Yeah, I do. I'll go ahead and draw the teachings and draw the other one next turn. Probably go ahead and play the Aqueduct. Or I could play the Swamp. I kind of like playing the Swamp also, actually, because then I can just hold up Doomblade for whatever my opponent plays the next turn. And the Think Twice. So yeah, I mean, let's go with that plan for now. It gives us the most options. Another preordain for my opponent. My deck's not playing any Ponders, though. Opponent misses it. No, it's my opponent's turn two. Not missing a land drop. Let's go ahead and think twice. Into another preordain. I like that. Ooh. Um, I don't like having to leave the shields down. Let's just start with a preordain. See if we hit another land. We do, but it's the wrong color. So let's bottom that. And now I think I do want the Seagate Oracle. Let's play this in backwater so we do not have to discard this turn. Mm hmm. There's the Kiln Fiend. There's another Deemer Aqueduct. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and kill the Kiln Fiend now. And that way if my opponent has Apostle's Blessing, he's forced to use it on my turn. Looks like he's thinking about it. Or doing a Spell Pierce. Okay. Uh, let's play Deemer Aqueduct and bounce our Swamp. So I actually do not like this position currently. I got dirt a little too hard, maybe. Maybe I kept too many lands. Hmm. Yeah, if my opponent goes... Like, a bunch of stuff, Assault Strobe, this will be bad. Oh, that's not so bad. Mm, a little tough, but I think we can manage. Let's see what we draw. Evolving Wilds. Not really what I wanted to see, I don't think. So I could play the Swamp and have 5 mana. And then I can Seagate, Oracle, and Mana Leak. To do that, I have to play the Swamp first, though. I do like both of these. I have to put one in my hand and one on the bottom, though. Uh, that's rough. The Echoing Decay might just be better, though. Like, I can't tutor Evan Carr's Justice. But I may not... The Evan Carr's Justice doesn't deal with the Cyclops. But I think that's what I'm... I think I'm going to pick the Justice. Block this turn. Mana Leak. 
hope this Delver doesn't flip, although that's probably unlikely. Ponder. So yeah, this is not going to be easy here. Basically, I'm holding. I'm gonna hold back the mana leak until I can either get an artful dodge or some, or an assault strobe or something that my opponent can use to actually kill me. Because as of right now, I can block the cyclops. The gush. Yikes! Do I counter the gush? No, I think I stay the course here. Yeah, that is a good thing to mail yeah, leak. And that also makes me wish I had kept my, uh... The other one over the Evan Cars Justice. Yeah, this game is over. Well, didn't too well that do too well that game. Let's see how the next one shapes up.